Hello, my name is Aaron Carrington and welcome to this super easy acoustic guitar lesson for Wagon Wheel by Old Crow Medicine Show, or maybe you're more familiar with the Darius Rucker version, which I am. This song can actually be played with only one finger using a different a combination of triads on different strings. Okay, you can use one finger for the entire track. First point of note about this song is that you will need a capo, which is going to go on the second fret here. And then whenever we talk about the frets, we're always talking in relation to the capo. So this would be fret one, this would be fret two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc., etc. Okay? And as we know, the song sounds like this. Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey, mama, rock me. So as you'll notice, all I was doing, I was playing really simple three note chords and I was able to sing over the top of it and it still sounds like the original track. And if you're not a singer, you can still play along to the original track. So for your benefit, let's get zoomed in. So to play the first chord in the sequence, which as we've just learned is G major, all we have to do is, well, there's nothing with the fretting hand, right? I'm gonna float this fretting hand here just so you can see that it's not actually being used. And then all we do is we strum the D, G, and B strings. And we just strum them all at the same time. And that is our first chord. That is our G major chord. The next chord, we're going to take the first finger of the fretting hand and we're going to place it on fret seven. Remember, this is fret seven in relation to the capo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is going to give us D major and we strum the exact same three strings once again. So we've gone from G major with no fingers to D major with one finger, okay? Then we're going to go to E minor, which is, again, no fingers are being used, all right? And we're going to strum the G, B, and high E strings of our guitar. And that gives us an E minor. So we've gone G major, D major, E minor, and then the final chord is we take that first finger once again and we place it on fret five of the D, G and B strings. And that gives us a C major chord. Okay. Rock me mama like a wagon wheel. Rock me mama any way you feel. And then the second progression goes G, D, C. So we do the G chord, the D, G and B strings. First finger goes to the seventh fret, which is the D chord. And then first finger goes to the fifth fret, which is the C chord. And that's Hey, Mama, rock me. Pretty straightforward, eh? So if we were to do the whole chorus, you'd be able to play along with the song. Rock me, Mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, Mama, any way you feel. Hey, mama, rock me. And that'll work for the choruses and the verses. It'll work all the way through that song because it's the same sequence all the way through. One important thing to note at this stage is that when you're using a capo, the chords that I'm saying right now, it's as if the capo wasn't there. All right, so that's what those chords would be called if the capo wasn't there. The reason we don't name the chords um, when we use the capo, we don't name the actual chords, is, cut a long story short, it's just easier that way. <laughs> As a beginner, it's just easier to understand it that way. Thank you for watching. If you want more videos like this, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Cheers.